All right, so you're going to be learning about unit rates, obviously. This is on page 117. And the main question is, how do you find and use unit rates? So our explore activity includes this problem here. Uh, Jeff hikes one half mile every 15 minutes or a quarter of an hour. All right, just a moment. How does 15 minutes equate to a quarter of an hour? Well, if you happen to remember 15 minutes, 15 minutes out of one hour, one hour, 60 minutes. And if I simplify this fraction, I get to one fourth. So that's how 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. Now that's the rate of Jeff and Lisa hikes one third mile every 10 minutes. So that 10 minutes is one sixth of an hour. So if you have 10 minutes out of 60 minutes for an hour, that simplifies to one sixth. So I'm just getting resources here. And how far do they each hike in one hour? And how far do they hike in two hours? We're going to use this bar diagram to determine how many miles Jeff hikes. So how many one quarter hours are in an hour? So there's uh, one, two, three, four one quarter hours in uh, in one hour. And how how far does Jeff hike in an hour? So he has uh, a half mile in this one quarter hour and then another half. Well, there's here is a one mile right here and then another half and another half. So there's one two miles. So how far is it going an hour? He goes two miles. Okay. And now we have uh, the table here. So in a half, uh, in, a, in a quarter of an hour, he travels a half mile. Okay, that's the same information here. Now, if we double this, then we would have to double this. And that would be one mile in a half hour. Okay. Then, and that's uh, right here, two quarters make a half, and that's one mile. Okay, so we'll move on here. Three fourths. Well, three fourths is three times one fourth. So if I multiply this by three, a half plus another half is one, plus another half is one and a half. Right there. And then uh, if we go up another quarter, that's another half. So that's two two miles and then if now if we double this we would double this and we, that would be four okay so we've completed the table and if we go down to c here complete the bar diagram to determine uh now we're talking about lisa so in one sixth of an hour she travels how far a third and we even see here one sixth of an hour is a third so one six hour is one third of a mile so each of these are one third so this is one third two thirds three thirds and three thirds is one mile this is another so this right here would all be one mile it's kind of sloppy uh, one third, one third, and one third. So this is another mile. So she's traveling two miles here. And he traveled two miles uh, up top. Okay, so uh, how many, uh, so two miles. Now, if we complete our table here, if we double one six, two one six make a third. You double this makes a third. So we would double this. This would be two thirds. And a half. We would have to multiply this by three. Right? Let's think about this. One six times three or three over one. One times three is three. Uh, six times one is six. And that makes one half. So one six times three is a half. So one third times three. This is one uh third times three, well, three thirds is one mile. And uh, so we have that. Now, if I double this, I would have to double this. So after uh, one hour, it'd be two miles and double this, that would be four. Okay, super. We have our rates figured out. And if I look here, how did you find the distance for Jeff's distance for three quarters of an hour? Well, I multiplied one half of a mile by three. And if we look back here, I took y one half mile, and this is times three. So I multiplied one half times three. 
And just to prove that to you, one half times three, one half times three or three over one, that is uh, three over two. And that is uh, two goes into three one time with one left over. See, there's your one and a half. So this matches this just to keep that consistent. Okay. Which hiker walks farther in an hour? And which is faster well i think they're the same so if i look here after one hour it's two miles if i look here after one mile was two uh one hour was two miles so same okay so they are the same speed they're each two miles per hour now we're going to move on to finding unit rates and a rate now that we got we got ratios, rates, and unit rates. And I wanted to explain this here. They say a rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units, such as miles and hours. Ratios and rates can be expressed as fractions in a rate and ratio with the denominator of one as a unit rate. Let me have a few examples here to explain. A ratio is simply a fraction, okay? A rate, I'll take that same fraction, but I'll attach labels to it, and that is a rate. And then a unit rate, I can take this rate, but I need to uh, simplify it. 60 over 2 is the same thing as 30 over 1, and a unit rate has a 1 for a denominator. So this is a unit rate version of our rate. And then we could also, since 30 divided by 1 is 30, we can just call this 30 miles per hour. And the per is that fraction line. Okay. Uh, now, we have, uh, when one or both of the quantities being compared in the rate is a fraction. The rate is called a complex fraction. So when we have a fraction inside of a fraction, so this one half is inside this larger fraction, that's a complex fraction. But this, this right here is, means 15 miles per one half hour. This is also the same as uh, 15 divided by one half. And we can start manipulating that if we recognize that 15 is the same thing as 15 over one. Okay, so getting into example one, when she's remodeling her kitchen, Angela is repainting. She estimates that she paints 55 square feet every half hour. How many square feet does she paint in an hour? Well, the unit rates. Let's say that our measurements are square feet in hours. Okay, so it says here that she paints 55 square feet, it said right here, uh, in a half hour, and it said that right here every half hour so the area so it's 55 square feet per half hour now they do other stuff here what i would do i would just do it this way i would just do it over here 55 uh every half hour well that's equal to if i double the half that's one and now we're getting into our unit rate. And so if I double this number, I have to double 55. And 55 doubled is 110. And now we're getting to this right here, very simply, right there. I just didn't put the labels on there. And they did. They made it the unit rate because, like I said earlier, the unit rate has labels there just like I showed you up here, has those labels. Very important. Otherwise, it's just a ratio. And uh, so, but what they did is they officially divided it. This means this. And when you divide fractions, you have to uh, use the reciprocal and multiply. And 55 times 2 is 110. 1 times 1 is 1. And they just said, okay, it's 110 square feet per hour. All right. So our last part here is this. And uh, Jalen makes limeade using three-fourths cup water every per one-fifth cup lime juice. And Wanchen makes limeade using two-thirds cup water per one-sixth cup of lime juice. Find the unit rates uh, of water per lime juice. Whose limeade was weaker, has a weaker lime flavor? Well, Jalen. Jalen is three-fourths per one-fifth. So I took three-fourths divided by one-fifth to make a unit rate. And I have, uh, when I did this, well, you have to flip the fraction over. And I did that. And 3 times 5 is 15. And 4 times 1 is 4. And then I turned this right here into a mixed number, 3 and 3 fourths, by dividing. And this is, uh, what, 3 and 3 fourths water 
per lime juice. And then for Wanchen, <laughs> Wanchen, uh, it's two thirds cup, which is right here, and uh, divided by one six cup. And when I flip the second fraction, I multiply two times six is 12, three times one is three, 12 divided by three is four. And four, now I'm comparing the four to the th four and three fourths, and four is bigger than three, three fourths. And so what this means is Wanchen slime aid is weaker because the ratio of water to lime juice, there's more water than there is lime juice. You know, that water to lime juice is greater than Jalen's. So that makes Wanchen's weaker, weak sauce. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.